Welcome to Third Eye Champagne. I am Kirsten Langston, author and intuitive. We are looking at cards for the solar eclipse in Cancer on July 2nd. So check it out. We've, we're in eclipse season. It's been very exciting for me personally. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I am tired. Uh, but it's been good stuff. So uh, what we're looking at is each sign. Now, I have a video out with Eliza, Eliza from Pluto Astrology also, and what that is is she talks about how the eclipse affects us overall globally, what's going on there astrologically, and then uh, she talks about each house, so how each sign is affected, which house is affected in each, each sign, and then we both drew cards. It was really interesting, wonderful collaboration. This is a little bit more in depth, so I'm looking at each sign more in depth. You're getting three cards of what's coming and you're getting three cards of advice. So Aries, let's do it. I'm ready, baby. Let's go. Aries, and it'll be interesting to see how these cards shape up with the reading that Elisa and I did. Um, I know Aries, yours was about movement, about walking away from something, and what you have here is very interesting stuff. We have seven of wands. I can't pick it up. <laughs> These damn long nails. We have seven of wands, page of wands, and the emperor here for you, Aries. So this is about moving forward strategically. Here's your moving forward. You're going to keep going, doing what you're doing. You're going to pay very close attention. You're moving forward strategically. Could this have something to do with, with a father, a father figure, parenting someone, being the head of the household, quote unquote? Yeah, it definitely could. It definitely could be a father-son thing going on for you, Aries. But, but another way this is going to manifest itself is just moving forward strategically. So that's what you're going to be doing. The Emperor is the card of the Aries. You have the Rams here on the card. So it really is saying, Aries, this is you. You're the Emperor right now. And this is this is what you're doing. This is what's going on. Um, I think as you move forward with whatever you're doing, pay close attention. And don't let the fiery nature of you get the best of you. Now, your advice for this eclipse. So very interesting stuff. It's reach out. Find your friends, find your homies, find your pals, reach out to people that you need, reach out to people that need you. There's no need to go it alone and solitarily like the emperor. You can reach out, you can collaborate, you can collaborate for money, you can collaborate for business. I think this is a very good message about business partnerships and if you're looking to move forward uh, in anything that you're doing business-wise or any money ventures, it's good to partner up, but I would also make sure I have the right partner. So again, you have two messages here. You have a message within a message, Aries, which is pay attention. Everybody's looking real closely at what's going on here. So that's going to be you for this eclipse, Aries. My darling Aries, my fiery Aries. Dated an Aries once. We got into so many fights. Oh my God. So many fights. Taurus, you're up, baby. Now this eclipse, um, you know, you have you have Uranus sitting around in your house, hanging out with you for the next seven years, Taurus, opposing me as a Scorpio, by the way, opposing me and my fellow Scorpios. But uh, Uranus might bring a twist to this eclipse for you. So let's see what you've got here coming, Taurus. Let's see what's up for Taurus, what's coming, and what your advice is. There's, a, there's quite a few cards that want to come out for you, Taurus. All right, so this eclipse is bringing to your door two threes and a nine. Interesting. So you have, it's going to be a nice eclipse for you. I think it's going to be pretty. I think it's going to bring you stuff that you need. And you may have actually gotten this in the Elisa video, if I remember correctly. But we have three of cups. Three of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. So the card called Sitting Pretty, the card of happiness and joy and hanging out with your homies and having a good time. And yes, I did reveal today that I do call this sometimes a Cinderella card because of that little pumpkin down there. And uh, then we have the, the Three of Pentacles, the card of the artist and the card of recognition. So this brings you 
honors. This brings you good shit. Not to put too fine a point on it, but it brings you really beautiful stuff. It brings you a good time. I think if you wanted to, if you were so inclined to, because we have a couple of three years, and of course nine is a multiple of three, 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 right? Look up the number three, Google it, angel numbers and numerology, and just see what, see what comes out for you. I think it could be interesting. Your advice, Taurus. So for this eclipse, let everybody move around you. Let it all move around you, number one. So this, both of these cards, the Eight of Wands and the Five of Wands, it's about quick, swift, fast, fiery, hot, sometimes very sexy movement, but it's about movement. So let the, the, the eclipse do its dirty business around you. Let it, let it do its work around you. And if it's working a negative mojo on some people, if some people just are like freaking out, drama, this, that, the other, just stay away. Let them do their thing around you. Don't get involved. But also the cards are saying, listen, allow the eclipse and the energy to build something brand new for you. So this is about allowing. This is about flow. This is about you going like this. Okay, take it. I'm ready. Uh, right? Just do it. Just do it. Just go with it. Get, um, get centered and let this energy, which may feel kind of funky, because it's just this really strong astrological energy. Let it do its thing. Let it bring you the new beginning. Let it build up to a new beginning. So no resistance for you, Taurus, but I don't think you're gonna need it because these are beautiful cards. So I don't think you're gonna feel resistant to anything at all. Gemini. All right, Gemini. Let's see what we've got. I'm feeling these eclipses pretty pretty well. Let me just say, I, I've been feeling this one coming for about a month now. I have uh, definitely been in a, in a different space. I have definitely been in a different space. I've been feeling this eclipse coming and, and the one after it, of course, July 16th, we have a lunar eclipse, but um, I've been feeling it. So it's going to be a strong one. It's going to be a nice, nice, strong, healthy punch to the gut. <laughs> Gemini. Uh, this eclipse is about your money. It is about money. So that's what came up with, with Elisa and I in our video, and it's it's here as well. So we have Eight of Pentacles. We have Knight of Wands. We have Queen of Wands. So it is about shifting directions in money and work. And it's like, do it. Go for it. Growth. Again, growth, growth. And then we have your work and money card here, the Eighth. So it is about shifting directions in money, shifting directions in work. You're going to a better place, you're going to a higher place, you're going to a happier place. So just go with it. I mean, really just go with it. Now, what's interesting for your advice. So the eclipse may be working a pretty nice mojo on you because here's the eclipse and here's the card of worry and this is the card of emotions. And so you may feel a little bit like you're all over the place. You may feel that. When you feel that, reach out for assistance. This could be with another person, it could be with a professional, it could simply be, I'm checking out, let me grab a joint, let me grab a beer, let me go on vacation, let me take a bath, um, you know, let me go into super duper self care mode, but it's about reaching out for that thing that helps you. So the energy might be, again, it's really fierce, you guys, it's a very strong, fierce, energy and it's not going in away. It's very relentless. It's just kind of, here we go, here we go, here we go. Like you're not getting away from it. So if that is working a mojo on you, even if you feel fine, even if there is no outward thing happening, even if you're like, yeah, I, you know, got lost my job, but got a better job right away. Or, you know, yeah, I got an influx of money because again, what the eclipse is bringing to you is really beautiful. Um, but you may still have that energy working its mojo on you just going, what are we going to do? Because I'm ready. You know, what are we going to do? Because I'm ready. And it's just kind of like, you're like, eclipse, go away. So self-care, please. Please, please, please self-care. Reach for that which sustains you, my darlings. It's just running through these signs like a bat out of hell. I'm feeling very inspired. I just got a phone with Elisa. I'm feeling my mojo. So I'm, I'm like, let's do it. Let's go. I'm ready. Cancer. So this one is new moon. In Cancer, this is your eclipse, baby. So let's see what we've got for you. Let's see what this eclipse is bringing to you. 
And just so you know, uh, if you are a patron, I am still doing eclipse readings. I am going to stop doing them the day of the eclipse. So you have today and then you have the second to sign up for them. And after that, that's it. They're $30. I cover both eclipses. You don't get to ask me questions. It's one spread for one for the solar, one spread for the lunar. If you're not a patron and you want this reading, I only read for patrons right now and I'm only reading via email right now. But if you want this reading, you come over to Patreon, you become a patron for $2 and then you email me at kirstenlangstonauthor at gmail.com and you say, hi, I'm T, I'm a patron now and I would really love this eclipse reading. Those eclipse readings are specific to you. So I am reading you. I am reading your energy and your life. These are very general. So if you want to get more in depth, if you looked at this reading or you're just feeling something coming or you're a little bit anxious, hit me up, but you do have to be a patron. All right. Now that the plug is over, <laughs> now that the plug is over, let's see what the, oh, oh my God, cancer. You got the same damn card that we got in the Elisa video. I'll be damned. Look at this seven of cups, page of swords, and two of wands. So yes, okay, the message is coming in loud and clear for you, Cancer. This eclipse is about making choices, making decisions, making the right ones based on good information. So I would say, I would advise you, my beautiful Cancers, do not make a fly by the seat of your pants spontaneous decision about anything around eclipse season. I would say likely for the entire month of July, if not a little bit into August. The decisions you make must be studied very carefully. You must have all the information. Do not just dip into whatever the hell you feel like it around eclipse time, okay? Because you have choices, you have decisions, and some are gonna be real, real nice, and some of them aren't, and you wanna make sure that you're making the right decisions and the right choices. Now, your advice here is really interesting. You have two major arcana cards, the Empress and Death, and we have the King of Cups, the card of Cancer. So whatever needs to die, let it go. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> let it go. Whatever needs to die, let it die. If it is a love thing, if it is love habits, if it is, if it is um, mother issues, if it is emotional problems or emotional issues or issues with a partner, a man, woman, what have you, whatever, let it go. It is time for death. It is time for death. So bring it. Be, be the death card. Be the guy riding the horse. Be death and say, you know what? I'm cutting out the shit that doesn't flow for me. I'm cutting it out. Cut out the crap, my darling. Leo. Leo. Let's see what this eclipse is bringing to our Leos. All right. Balance. So I know Aliza was saying in our, our reading that it was um, this eclipse for you, Leo, is about a spiritual awakening. I think it's also about money. You got the two of pentacles in that reading. You're getting the two of wands in this reading. So it's about balance. It is about balance. Balancing your emotions, balancing where you're going, where you've been. Here's where you're going. Here's where you've been. This is a card of balance, a card of justice. It is about integration. It is about mind, body, spirit. It is about how do I make everything in my life fit together? Where is it disjointed? Where does it not make sense? You know, do I do I call myself a spiritual person, but then do I make money off exploiting people or, you know, that kind of a thing? It's really about all across the board, everything goes real nice and balanced all across the board. So that's what this eclipse is bringing to you. It may bring some kind of flat out legal situation. Eclipse, legal, eclipse, legal. So it may bring about some kind of legal situation for you, Leo, um, in which case, handle it. It might be sudden, it might be, it might kind of go, oh Jesus, what, what's going on here? So just handle it. Um, two, of, two of Wands handles their business. It's a balanced card. So handle whatever comes up. Now, your advice here for this eclipse is just let it happen. <laughs> ah, 
Just let it happen. Sit there and let it happen. And yes, do attempt to manifest the things that you want. So use this energy for manifestation. Use it for bringing in things that you desire. This is called the wish card. This is the energy of the eclipse, but it's also like you can't control the energy of the eclipse. So you better just sit there and, and let it do its thing. You can't control this energy. So I think any attempts at control Leo or, or trying to um, hold on to it is a mistake, but trying to make something out of it, trying to, to kind of co-create with the universe here is the jam. If you try to force things, if you try to hide from it, if you try to not, you know, ignore that it's even happening, that's when it bites you in the ass. But if you say, okay, universe, I know this, you know, this, this energy is coming in. I know this is what you want from me. So how do we work together? That's your job. Let the new energy come in and work with the universe to make it something that you are super duper into and not something that you are shying away from. Virgo. So Virgo got a very interesting reading with Elisa and I. Um, one of the very few, well, it was the only sign that got major arcana cards from both of us. And it was a big, big message for Virgo. So if you haven't checked that reading out and you're a Virgo, definitely do it. I think all the signs got really, really good information, quite frankly. It was a really good reading. And when she and I get together, it's like, it's like psychic fireworks. <laughs> it's like you just, it's just things start exploding all over the place. So let's see the message for Virgo here. You want one more good shuffle, Virgo, I can tell. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you, baby. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, a twofer already. And every card wanted to come off the top of the deck, Virgo. So, interesting. Okay, Virgo. So, this eclipse is bringing to you, yes, I think illumination. And yes, I think it's a path of healing. It's a way to heal. So, you're working on healing. And look at what we have here, my darling. So, we have our Nine of Wands, which is the PTSD card, which is the, I've been through hell. I'm, I don't want to do any more shit. I don't want to do any more shit. Leave me alone. I've been through hell. Um, that is that card. And then we have our page of pentacles, which says study, 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 study. So it, it is the path of healing for you. You're going to figure out how to get out of your PTSD. You're going to figure out how to get this bandage off your head. You're going to figure out how to feel better. And this is a permanent change, Virgo. So it's a big change for you, but you are going to figure out all the things you need to know. This is the card of the student. So you become a student of your own suffering and how to alleviate your suffering. Now you have these two cards over here also that they came out, Eight of Pentacles and Knight of Wands, which to me says work on your growth. Work, that's this guy, on your growth. But it also says you've come so far already, you don't have that much more to go. You're actually doing a killer job, Virgo. So, um, and again, these guys back here, these pyramids in this card, It's this is all about integration of mind, body, and spirit. So this is a really healing eclipse for you, Virgo. And I think I think intuitively, I feel like you're gonna, you're gonna hit this eclipse point throughout the year, you know, these eclipses get, get, eclipses get re-triggered here and there, especially because we have so many planets retrograde. So when these planets, where, where they're sitting right now, once they move forward and they, they go back over these eclipse degrees, um, that eclipse will kind of come up again. So um, I think this is an ongoing process for you, and I think it is going to hit at certain times throughout the year, but, but never more than it is right now, and it's a real opportunity for you. So you're advice here is two of wands, three of cups, temperance card. Okay, so your advice is this. Relax. <laughs> See what's coming down the road. Go slow. So temperance card of balance also. So it's a card of balance. It's a card of integration. It's a card of alchemy. So it's a card of turning lead into gold. So this is what you're doing right now, Virgo. You're turning lead into gold. Keep it up. Libra! Got very excited about Libra. I had to use my Oprah voice. Huh? Jeez. Been on camera, not wearing a shred of makeup, just not giving a shit right now. That's how the eclipses are affecting your auntie. 
wearing my coming to America shirt. Have you guys seen this one? I freaking love this shirt. Are you like, come on, dude. Just one of the greatest movies of all time. That's all, that's all I've got for you. Eating my own hair. Well, that one came out too. All right, Libra, here we go. What do we got? The Libra, whoa, Libra. <laughs> okay, Libra, so your cards are really about balance as well. It is about making sure you are balanced, so taking a break and make sure balance comes to you, Libra. That's the jam here. It's bringing you some kind of balance. Yes, it could be money stuff. It could definitely be money stuff, and I think we talked about that in, in the video with Eliza. We talked about where it could be coming for you, and yeah, it's, it's money. It's coming. It's balancing out your money. It's balancing out your jobby job. It's balancing out how you earn and make money, how you spend money, how you keep money. So it's definitely hitting the money house here, and it's going to balance it out. It's going to make sure you are on an even keel, whether you like it or not. So if you've been a spendthrift, um, the, the eclipse is going to come in and say, yeah, so no more. So we're cutting up your credit cards. Uh, your advice here, plan to be happy. Literally, this is your advice. It is plan, plan to be happy. Plan to be happy. That's it. That's the whole jam here. So um, if you have been worrying about money, if you've been worrying about job stuff, if you've been worrying about abundance issues, plan to be happy. And honestly, uh, the more gratitude you have, the more happiness you have about what you have, the more the universe delivers the stuff that you're happy about. So plan to be happy. I think it's a really simple and yet incredibly deep statement for you, Libra. Plan to be happy. I like that, actually. Let's see Scorpio. Let's see what my fellow Scorpios are getting. So I did say, uh, you know, Lisa and I have been trying to get a podcast together off the ground, which I really want to do, and um, we are having a little bit of trouble finding a good app. We don't want to spend a ton of time on it. If you know anybody who can help us with tech, or if you can help us with tech, or if you are a producer, um, or if you have some good suggestions on good apps to use, let us know, please, because I'd really like to get this damn thing off the ground. <laughs> And I'm reminded of it because she said for Scorpios, it's going to be hitting, you know, the public sector broadcasting, disseminating information, putting out information. And I'm like, that's my podcast and I want it. Or, or it could be, you know, a TV show, which is fine. <laughs> Hire me. I usually wear makeup. Hire me. <laughs> okay. Scorpio, what do we got here? I usually wear makeup and do my hair, but not fucking today. This is Eclipse face. Okay, Scorpio. This Eclipse is definitely bringing you something you want. So it does go along with the reading we did with Eliza. We have the Empress, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Nine of Cups. So here's the deal. It brings you something you've been looking for. It brings you something that makes you happy, ecstatic. Yes, it could be love. It could be abundance. It could be motherhood. It could be something to do with your mother because, of course, the Empress is here and she's the card of the mother. But it's really about, again, growth. And it's about growing in the direction you want to grow in. So this is something that is going to help you grow in a direction you've been looking to grow in. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> yay! But it's here. So it's going to help you grow in a direction you want to go in and that you've been trying to go in. And maybe it's been it's been slow going, but our night says it's about to pick back up again, my friends. So get ready for it. And you know, we are kind of headed into at some point, I forget the date, but I want to say it's mid-July, uh, Mercury retrograde. So don't be surprised if whatever this is doesn't show up until Mercury is out of retrograde. It could very well be delayed because of that. Now your advice, your advice here, well, first of all, we have the sun. And then on the other side of it, we have the nine of swords, the card of stress and worry. And then we have the three of swords, the card of delays and grief on the other side of it. So your advice is this, don't do this and don't do that. This is, this is literally, don't worry, be happy. Like, do not concentrate on the shit you don't want. 
because you're gonna manifest it because these are cards of manifestation right here. So you need to concentrate on all the things that you want and leave this shit where it belongs in the fucking toilet, all right? So let it go. Don't start with the worry and the grief and the what ifs and well, I didn't last time, it didn't work out this time and da 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 da. Don't even go there, Scorpio. This is about focusing on your happiness, much like Libra. I don't think, plan for happiness, but be in your happiness now, Scorpio. That's your job. Sagittarius. Let's see what we've got for you, my darlings. Sag. I know with Eliza we were looking at money. She said, well, the money, there's just going to be money showing up. So let's see for you, Sag. My, 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 my. Okay, Sagittarius, we have a different message other than money for you, my friends, in this reading, in this a little bit more in-depth reading, although it could still apply to money. But what this spread is saying to me, we have the devil. We have justice. We have the page of swords. So this is a time period for righting wrongs, which yes, could come in the form of money, promotion, payment, uh, payout. Um, it, this is karmic. This is about karmic balance, okay? So yeah, that could come in the form of money. It could come in the form of something else, but it's clearly about karmic balance and making sure the scales are balanced here. So whatever you have coming to you, okay? Whatever you have owed to you karmically, it's gonna show up on your doorstep on this eclipse, okay? July 2nd, there's gonna be a package and it's gonna be from the, the karma police, okay? <laughs> and you're either gonna get a payout or you're going to get something that maybe you weren't necessarily wanting. But it's definitely going to clear up some karma for you, big time, big time. And I think because of those cards with Elisa, that you are probably looking at, at a good payout, quite frankly. I think we can look at both of those readings together and say, no, I think you're gonna get something good here, but but some of you may not, and that's, that's the karma coming for you, baby. So your job here, um, which is really interesting, is um, two fours, four of swords, four of, four of cups, both cards of meditation, okay? And then seven of cups, which is actually another card of meditation and spirituality. Um, sometimes it's just the card of illusion, delusion, and fantasy, and oh boy, you know, I've got choices to make. I know we were talking about that in the other video, but this is spiritual in nature, my friends. So this is go to a spiritual place. This is go to meditation. This is go into a solitary state where it's you. And I know a lot of Sagittarians are like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Why would I do that? Um, it's going to benefit you greatly and it's going to calm you down. It's going to get you very, very centered. And I think that this may be a preparation for the lunar eclipse for Sagittarius because we don't know what's coming up for you there. But this is saying, take a spiritual path. Take a spiritual path, Get find some goddamn inner peace. <laughs> the official name of inner peace is goddamn inner peace. Um, but find some inner peace, find some chill, and, and rest in that for a while, okay? Capricorn. Let's see what we've got for you, my darling. This is a biggie for you, Capricorn. Capricorn wants a, a good shuffle as well. You earth signs. Capricorn, your cards don't even want to come out for me. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what we've got, my darling. I also dated a Capricorn, by the way. We did not fight, ever. It was also, I think, the weirdest breakup in my life because I feel like we were going out for like a long time and then all of a sudden we just stopped talking. That can't be right. I mean, we were like together, together, and then we just weren't, but there was like no, <laughs> there was no breakup. Am I technically still with this guy? Um, all right, Capricorn. The eclipse is bringing you endings. Bam. I mean, and they're not the funnest kind. So we have the two tens here. We have the ten of wands, the burden. We have the ten of swords, the guy with the ten swords in his back. He's super fun, right? And then we have our knight of cups. So it could be an ending in love, absolutely. It could be an, an emotional ending that may be a little bit sticky for you. So um, either way, it's it's... An end is here, 
and it's your job to welcome it. Yeah, you heard me right. It's your job to welcome it. It's your job to say, oh, hi, I have my, I'll, you know, I got the cup. Here you go, ending. I have a cup for you. Come on in the house, sit down, have some tea, let's chill. The ending is here. Um, this could be the end of some very big problems of, you know, labor, work, hard things. This could be the end of something that you've been looking for, okay? But it is an ending. It might be a little painful for some. I mean, nobody is going to fucking feel good with ten swords in their back, right? So it could be an owie. It's a very mature channel. I'm a very mature person. It could be an owie. Uh, your job is still to welcome it. Welcome it. Resistance, bad plan. I'm going to tell you all right now, Capricorn, do not dig in your heels on this one. Resistance is a very bad plan. Say, yes, come on, ending. Let's do it, even though I don't like it, even though it doesn't feel good, even though it might feel so wrong to me, even though I don't want to do it. Let's go. That's your job. Now, your advice here is nine of wands. So defense, defense, defense. Show up your defenses. Four of swords, security, 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 and strength. So you come with all your strength, okay? You come with your tools. You... Get yourself in a secure place, in a safe place, in a happy place. Um, and I don't mean happy emotionally, but I mean find find a spot to hunker down and just get this ending over with. But absolutely, hands down, you have to make sure that you are taking care of yourself, make sure that you are well defended, make sure that you are around people that are going to take care of you, okay? Aquarius. So Lisa and I were talking about Aquarius and you know they they, they have um, I know a couple of Aquarius Aquarians personally and it's just like they've been going through the shit. And she and I were talking about how it's time to let the past go. It's time to drop old ideas, old habits, and I'm really curious to see what comes out in this extended reading Aquarius. So let's take a peek. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius. Uh, I think you can have a very strong new emotional beginning and a very strong new beginning in love if you're looking for love. So this is about healthy emotions versus very unhealthy emotions. This is about a new emotional beginning. Yes, some of you, it will manifest as a love affair. It will manifest as a love interest. It could be a love interest younger than you, but it it is coming. There's a, a wave of new emotions coming for you, Aquarius. So I think this is part of the reason you have to drop the past and, and the old baggage because you've got new stuff coming. And uh, whether it's with with a person, whether it's, it's romantic or it's, um, I feel like I put the accent on that, weirdly romantic no um, whether it's romantic or it's uh, it's just emotional it's just your new emotional beginning it's here and you can't go here unless you drop the fucking bag of shit you've been carrying so drop the bag get rid of the past get rid of the old stuff embrace the new this is your job now your advice is really interesting because I've got two. I shuffled. You saw me shuffle. You wanted a nice shuffle. I got two of the same cards I got for Capricorn. So it is about self-care. It is about taking care of yourself. We have three of pentacles, four of pentacles, and nine of wands here. So yes, find a secure place. Yes, find your happy place. Yes, take care of yourself. This is the card of PTSD. It is time to recognize where you are not secure, where you are not safe, where you do have PTSD, where you do have insecurities, where you do feel shaky, where you don't feel balanced. It's time to look at that and say, okay, this is self-examination, my darlings. So it's time to look at that and say, okay, here's, here's what's going on. This is the bag of shit that I've been carrying. And here's where I don't feel good. And when you handle that and you handle your business, then you get to have the sun. Then you get to have this really good experience. But in order to get there, you have to recognize what exactly is going on and where you are shaky and where you're not in the best place. And until you recognize it, you're not gonna get to a better place. So there, I'll just yell at you, it's fine. 
All right, Pisces. Then we're going to do one overall spread here for the general energies. And um, I think there's a lot of potential for raising consciousness on a collective level at this time. So I'm going to look at that very quickly as well. And again, if you want a personalized reading, I am only doing them via email. I'm only doing them for patrons. If you are not a patron, come over and be a patron for two bucks. And then you email me for the eclipse reading for 30 bucks. Okay, so $32 gets you this reading, and then you get you get to be a patron. You get to have all the patron archives and everything that comes out for the month on Patreon. I'm going to be doing a deep dive on America on July 3rd that will be live, which I'm really interested on in, in doing because um, I don't know what's going to come up. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be looking at the land, the founding fathers, the country itself, the people in the country now, what's going on in the country now, what happened in the past. I don't know. So I'm really curious to see what bubbles up on that. Um, again, if you want to come over to Patreon, the link is in the box. The link is always in the bio on uh, Instagram, at Third Eye Champagne. Come do it. And those readings are very personalized for you, okay? So it's not just a general kind of thing like this, but I tune into your energy and I give you exactly what's going on and I'm not doing them past July 2nd. So if you want that reading, now's the time. All right, kitties. Lastly, but not leastly, Pisces. You got the same card you got when I was doing the reading with Elisa. You got that Seven of Cups. So yes, this is about making stuff creative. We have the Magician here. We have the Eight of Wands here. It's about taking the energy and making something out of it. So this is about building something, even if it's just an idea. Because these, our Eight of Wands and our Seven of Cups, they're very airy. They're very like, okay, maybe it's just a thought. Maybe it's just inspiration. Maybe I don't even get anything down on paper yet, or I don't get anything recorded yet, or I don't pick up my paintbrush yet, or whatever it is. But it's here. So the, this is big creative stuff coming through. This turns you into a master, okay? Especially in the creative realms. If you're not a creative person, then it's going to be an insight on your life, okay? It's going to be some kind of, oh, yeah, this thing is a thing. You know what I mean? It's going to be some kind of life insight where it's like, oh, this is how I'm empowered. This is how I'm a boss. This is how I'm a baller. This is how I'm going to live my life from now on. There is big stuff coming for you, Pisces. This is a very big eclipse for you. And then uh, for your advice, we have the world, the star, and the ace of pentacles, which is beautiful advice. So this is saying, you know, be the star. This is saying, get down. This is a very creative card. This is a very creative card. And this can be a very creative card. So this is all about your creativity. It's all about bringing stuff that's floating around, that's up in your head or in your heart or whatever, out into the world and making something out of it. This is the card of hopes and dreams. Do not give up on your hopes and dreams, if, especially if you're creative. This is a very special message for creative people. If you have a dream and maybe you're thinking it's taking too long or maybe you're thinking you're not good enough or maybe you're thinking that it's just a dream. It's not. The world and the Ace of Pentacles brings some very concrete material stuff to this dream. Do not give up on your dream. Do not do it, Pisces. This is the time to make it real. I yelled at Aquarius and then Pisces got a very nice message. <laughs> oh well. All right, so let's see general reading for the eclipse, and then I just want to look at how it's affecting the collective. Because I do feel like there are there are energies, really high, beautiful energies that can be accessed at this time for, for the collective consciousness, absolutely. So I'm gonna do a Celtic here and just see what general energies are being brought in with this solar eclipse. I think it's a biggie. I, I feel it like, I don't know, I feel like it's a big deal. I don't know if I, I feel like it's a big deal more than other eclipses, but I kind of want to say that I do. So there's that. Let's see what we've got here. Ace of Swords, Emperor, Two of Wands, The Fool, Two of Cups, Ten of Wands, Magician, Seven of Cups again, Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords in the home environment, Five of Cups and Ten of Cups and High Priestess. Okay, so I actually want to start with the High Priestess. She's the last card we got, but it's the first one I want to start with. She does represent the eclipses. She represents the phases of the moon. You can see that in the crown that she's wearing there. Um, this 
is new deep currents of energy. This is balance. We see that with the two pillars. She's also the card of the two. This is about balance. In fact, at the root of the reading, we have a two, which is another card of balance. So we are bringing things far more into balance than we were. Actually, we have the two of cups over here, which is another card of balance. So we've got a really nice balanced message here. Just starting out here. We obviously, we have three tens. And so we have an ending. Absolutely. We have the fool. We have the ace. We even have the nine of cups, which is another ending. So we are ending a really gnarly period of, and I think we know this, I think we see this, and I think this eclipse is going to filter and it's going to take a long time to really come to fruition on a global scale. I, I think we're going to see a few things that hit very quickly around this eclipse where you're just like, oh, 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 oh. But I think it draws itself out this one. I think it's a slow burner for, for more collective energies. But we have this feminine rising and it's going to be hitting a lot of you that you thought it would never hit whether you're you identify as male or female whether you you identify as neither male nor female whatever you identify as there is still this feminine current of energy that becomes very very prevalent around this eclipse time at time and, and going deeper out past the eclipse time but this is very much a time of endings and balance endings and balance if i was going to name this eclipse anything i would name it endings and balance okay we have our ace of swords which is a new beginning it's new ideas but the sword also comes in and cuts down what doesn't work and look who's wielding the sword today is our emperor so these came up just like this so he's the guy holding the sword so emperor comes in he says you know what I look, thing, I, look, I look at things objectively, and I look at things strategically, and I am a goddamn warrior, and I'm going to look at all these things, and I'm going to cut out what isn't working. I am going to cut out the garbage. I am going to cut out the excess. I'm going to cut out the waste. I'm going to cut out the cancers. I'm going to cut out the parasites. I'm going to cut out the blood suckers. I'm going to cut out the energy vampires. <laughs> you know, I'm going to cut out the time wasters. I'm going to cut out all the crap. This is both internal and external. So on a collective scale, and I think that on some level, all of us, regardless of what sign we are, we're going to be doing this. We are going to be the emperor, and we're going to cut out the crap. Now, here's the deal. You can either wield the sword yourself and participate in this, or you can not and go in resistance, in which case it's going to hurt more. But also, you know, the universe is really going to have its way with you. It's really going to have its way with you. But we are bringing in balance. We're bringing in balance. And it's global. Look at that. He's got the world in his hands, baby. So it's it's global balance. And then the fool is above saying brand new energy, kids. Brand fucking new. And it's gorgeous. Now, what I really love is we have our zero and our one here in this reading. So here's your fool. Guess what's in his bag? All of these tools on the table. So the fool immediately becomes the magician. This is a level up, okay? We're going up a level as far as global consciousness goes, as far as collective consciousness goes. But it's also about taking potential, taking potential energies and making something out of it. So you're taking all this potential. This is unlimited possibility. And you're saying, I'm going to start by making this one thing. Now, this is the end of illusion. So again, this is more cutting out the crap. It's more of that. So anywhere where you're, you're not seeing reality, anywhere where you've been carrying a burden that isn't yours, anywhere where other people have heaped their burdens upon you, it's going. The emperor is coming in and saying, no way, not happening. So um, I think you're going to see this collectively, especially in America, with... Um, the way that people have been kind of pushing off their nasty shit onto good folks. Straight up. I mean, that's it. Straight up. I think that this is, this is us having to deal with this extreme xenophobia and racism, and we are being sort of made to carry the burden of what these people are attempting to do. That is starting to end. That is going to go away. Yes, I do think you're going to see this playing out with Trump and the Mueller report and the testifying. Absolutely. So um, we also have in our home environment, it's death, baby. It's death. It's death. And it's just, it's going. We have three tens here. It's no joke. 
It's no joke. It's a big fat fucking ending. So we have an ending here. Again, I think that for some of us, it might end up being painful. And if it is, you just breathe. You just four of swords it and you breathe through it and it's not permanent. It's fucking temporary. So you breathe through it and you keep going. That's it. Now these two came up together. So we have, we have sorrow and we have joy. So I think you're going to see this eclipse swinging like a pendulum. And I think some people are going to go straight for the joy and some people are going to go straight for the sorrow. You're not going to have anything in between. If that's it. I mean, it's sorrow or it's joy. I don't think people are going to be meh about this eclipse. I think depending on where your consciousness is and, and how capable you are of joy and how positive you are, I think, um, you know, in your daily life, I think then, yeah, of course, you're going to swing more towards that 10 of cups. And if you're a complainer, and if you don't want to change, and if you're dragging your feet, and if you're living in a fear state, I think you're going to go more towards that Five of Cups, and it's not going to feel as good. So my advice to you is work on those habits now. Start working on them now, because this eclipse is a slow burn. So show me the collective energies right now. Show me the collective energies around this eclipse. Show me that. Curious to see if we get any of the same cards we just got. And I'm not doing a Celtic this time. I'm doing an eight card spread with a root in the sky. Queen of Pentacles at the sky. Ace of Wands at the root. Four of Cups. Lovers. Three of Wands. Six of Wands. These are nice. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Hierophant. Five of Swords. Okay, so what we're looking at here as far as the collective energies surrounding this eclipse, the most prevalent energies to me, again, still says balance. We have our unsteady five. We have our Five of Swords here. It's a slippery, gnarly energy. So, you know, remember when Aliza and I were talking about how, you know, cancer could have people showing up in their lives where it's just like, oh, stay away from them. That's this. There is this aspect floating around out there where it's like, whatever you do, don't go into this. Whatever you do, don't hang out with these people. They fucking suck, okay? So there's that. Massive vibes of healing. That's here and that's here. Massive vibes of healing, massive vibes of opportunity. That's here and that's here. So we have healing, we have opportunities for healing, we have opportunities coming in general. Beautiful collective love. So this is gorgeous, this love, it both, uh, divine and and human. It's just raging through this eclipse. It's beautiful. So that's here. And yes, that is an energy that you can absolutely grab onto and say, yeah, I want that one. I like that. Let me let me flow with that rather than this bullshit, right? So we want this. We like this. We want to go for this. Hierophant energy is here basically for me saying, you know, you're going to follow the rules of this eclipse you're going to do the eclipse, whether you want to or not. There are rules to this. This is not a free for all. It's not a goddamn hoot nanny. I can't believe I just said the word hoot nanny, but it's not. Uh, so you're going to follow the rules of the eclipse. End of story. That's here. And it's very, to me, it's also very like there are people that will be digging in their feet and digging in their heels when it comes to positive change. That's them. These are the people that are saying, no, we're going to do it my way. And my way is the xenophobia and the racism and the horrible shit. That's my way. And we're going to continue to do it my way. But sorry, motherfucker, we're not. So grab onto the love. Stay away from this shit. Stay away from this shit. Find your opportunities because they're here. Yes, get help, give help. And this is, yeah, big time card of healing. Big time card of healing. And the three is here saying, Chickens are coming home to roost. So if you've been given real good, you're going to get real good. And if you've been given real shitty, you're going to get real shitty. And this goes for up here. So if you have been sitting there and complaining and thinking about this person sucks and that person sucks and I suck and this and that, that's coming back on you now. Okay? So it's really important to stay in a more positive frame of mind. Accentuate the positive. You know, Auntie always says that. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. Um, Ace of Wands, new energetic beginning at the root. 
Queen of Pentacles at the sky, which to me says we are cementing things in the material plane right now. So yes, period of manifestation. Yes, figure out what you want. Yes, go for it, okay? Because you are cementing things on this plane right now. So make sure they're the right things. Make sure you're with the right people. Make sure you are hanging out with people that do not have ulterior motives. Make sure that you are doing things on the up and up, that you're coming from a pure heart, you'll be fine. All right, my darlings, I do love you. I do adore you. Make sure that you sign up for Patreon. If that's something you want, do it right away because I was inundated with email requests already for these Eclipse emails. Um, this is going out to the public. Okay, so the sooner you sign up for Patreon and the sooner you send me your email at author at gmail.com requesting this Eclipse reading and the sooner you pay for it, the sooner you're gonna get it. If I get too many requests, I'm gonna have to cut them off. So get it where you fit in, my darlings, and the wise words are too short, and I do love you. I'll see you later.